Welcome back to the Fergus Falls High School Gymnasium where the Otter Boys basketball team is set to wrap up their regular season at home against the Wapleton Huskies. There are two more road contests next Tuesday when the Otters play at Little Falls. And then on the 2nd of March, which is next Thursday, when they play at Moorhead against the Spuds. And then it's on to the postseason. But this is the final regular season home game. It is parents' night. It is seniors' night here at FFHS. And the Otters take a 14-5 and record up against the Huskies, who are 14-3. and In the B game tonight, it was 61-49. Fergus Falls beating Wapiton. There were four players in double digits. Nate Klein had 15. Josh Cassette had 11, Ryan Hendrickson with 11, and Adam Heck with 10. So those were the four players in double digits tonight for the Otter B squad as they won their 15th consecutive game with that 61 to 49 win over the Wapiton B team. And we'll come back with our starting lineups and the start of tonight's game. But first we're going to take this two minutes. Time. Huskies will go. They will start at a yard spot. Number 14, 5'9 sophomore, Scott Walter, who averages five points a game. At the other guard spot is six foot senior, number 20, Dana Pouch, who averages four points a game. Starting at center is number 52, 6'9 senior, Jared Wells, averaging 13 points and five rebounds per game. The forwards are 6'1 senior, number 34, Yancey Foster, who averages 12 points and six rebounds per game. And number 50, 6'4 senior, Ty Lakey, who averages 11 points and five rebounds per game. Coach John Delval is in his fifth year as head coach at Wapiton. He uses his bench. In fact, he uses all 10 players on his roster. You'll see them all out there, and they all contribute. Depth uh, similar to what the Otters have, and their record is 14 and 3, with their losses coming to Fargo South, Fargo North, and Devils Lake. The Otters will start with their four-guard offense, 5'9", senior, number 5, Titus Christensen, averaging 10 points a game. Number 11, 5'9", senior, Dustin Cassette, averaging 4 points and 3 rebounds per game. Number 13, 5'9", senior, Tim Erickson, averaging 8 points per game. Number 23, Justin Arneson, 5'9", senior, averaging 16 points per game. And at center, number 41, 6'4", senior, Justin Letzloff, averaging 12 points, 4 and a half rebounds per game. The other seniors are Andy Larson, 6'3", senior, number 33. Number 51, Charlie Schoenhart, a 6'3", senior. And number 55, Jacob Drevlo, a 6'2", senior. And I know Coach Schuler will have them all out there uh, tonight for uh, several minutes here on Seniors Night and Parents Night in their final regular season home game. The Otters have played very, very well in their recent games. They defeated Moorhead in overtime on the Friday night by a final of 80 to 75. They had three players in double figures that night with Justin Arneson leading with 23, Titus Christensen with 19, including five threes, and Tim Erickson with 17. And then an 81-73 win over Alexandria on Saturday. Arnie at 27, Erickson at 21, 11 for Andy Larson, and 10 for Justin Retzloff in that one. And the Otters hit their free throws those two nights, too. They hit 29 out of 39 from the line in those two games. And are ready to play basketball. Jared Wells will jump against Justin Ritzhoff, and the Otters win the tip. Erickson kicks it ahead to Arneson in the corner, across the floor to Cassette. Dusty drives into the lane, takes it up off the glass, missed the shot. Wells can't handle the rebound, got a bounce off his hand. Well, Cassette had a nice penetration move to the basket that time. But Wells came out to challenge, and Dusty just uh, missed it off to the right side. Now Arneson lobs it into Erickson near the free throw line, off to Titus, bounce pass down low, Ritzhoff takes it up, shot blocked evidently. And it's picked up by Wells, who passes it off. Wapit then will cross into the front court with Scott Walter working the dribble. High post pass taken by Ty Ranke. Right side to Dana Posh. Posh is guarded by Arneson. One dribble toward the middle, dishing to the free throw line. Now back off to Wells. Right side, they set it to the top to Scott Walter, and he'll reset it against the man-to-man -man half court look that the Otters employ most of the night. Into the lane, a little hook shot, and he lost his hand, uh, the handle on the ball, did Wells, and the Otters rebound the missed shot. Arneson behind the back dribble, blocked shot. Arnie gets it back as it's stuck. It's knocked out of bounds, and the Otters will throw it in from underneath. Well, the Otters going inside early on here and being rejected three times so far in the first minute of play. 
Rogers get it into Arneson in the corner. Good defensive coverage on him by Posh. Sets it back out to Titus. Titus driving the lane. And another rejection, and this time Wells will get the foul. Well, that was the uh, first foul, and they've had four block opportunities. Successfully administered three of the block shots, and now Titus Christensen on the line to shoot two free throws. Titus is the top free throw shooter on this club. He's missed only two all year. Make it three. Now the second one coming for Titus. And the Otters have the early lead at one nothing. Less than a minute gone. And they put some full court pressure here on the Huskies. Wells will pass it back to Walter. Scott Walter against Dustin Sissette. Over the line. And it was uh, Foster with the ball against Cassette. On the right side, backing up on the dribble is Posh. His pass up high. Christensen had a hand, a hand on it. Walter recovers, misses the free throw line jumper. And the rebound goes to Arnie. Arneson up the left side, picks up the dribble. Back out the three for Erickson. Got it. Tim Erickson nails the three. First field goal of the game. The Otters have scored the first four points in the first minute and a half. And here come the Huskies. Marsh on the right side against Arneson. Now brings it to Walter against Christensen. Walter works the dribble, picks it up now, bounce pass delivered to the free throw line, stolen by Erickson. Steve Christensen knocked away by Wapitson out of bounds off Titus. So the Otters turn it over after uh, they had stolen it at the other end. Here come the Huskies now. Nancy Foster hands the ball off to Dana Posh. Posh cuts in on the wing, working it on the near sideline, goes to the baseline, takes it up in traffic. We've got a foul called on Justin Rexlaw. And Justin has his first personal. That's team foul number one against the Otters, and free throws come in here for Dana Posh. Posh will shoot two. The Otters have scored the first four points here. With 6.03 to go in the quarter, and the free throw is good. So Posh has the first Wapiton points of the night. And the second free throw attempt coming, and that one is good. So it's 4-2. Otters lead on the Otter Tail Telcom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. Arneson into the front court. Looking down low to Retzloff. On the blocks, low side. Takes it baseline. Nice move around Jared Wells. He converts that layup. Justin Retzloff with a good offensive move to the basket along the baseline from the right side. 5.45 to go in the quarter. Ball knocked away, recovered by Posh. Gets it off to Walker. Feeds it right side. Jumper on the way by Ranky. It's off. Weak side board. Wells with a put pass. Good offensive board by Jared Wells on the weak side, and he follows with the bank shot in for two. And now Christensen, left side three, won't fall. Out of bounds off Retzloff. Justin had the inside rebounding position. Oh, now they're, now they're giving it to the Otters. They think it went off Jared Wells. Retzloff had the inside position, and he uh, might have gotten a hand on it, but I do think Wells knocked it out of his hands. And out of bounds. Referees are helping each other out that time. Arneson brings it out to Erickson. Tim cutting in on the dribble. The top of the key, left side, Christensen. Free throw line, leans in and hits it. Nice penetration basket by Titus, who has three, and it's eight to four in favor of the Otters, with five minutes to play in the opening quarter. Pass up the floor, Erickson strips it away, and we have a foul called on Tim that is going to put Ranky on the line for two. Tim has his first personal, and that is team foul number two now against the Otters. Ranky to the line, he averages 11 points, five rebounds per game. And Ranky's shot is good. Charlie Schoenhart will check in. Charlie, 6'3", senior post, replacing Justin Retzloff in the lineup. It's 8-5 now. Otters by three, and Ranky cuts it to two as Watt hits their first four free throws of the game. Jim Erickson back up the left sideline for the Otters. Picks up the dribble, feeds it into the paint for Arneson. Stripped to the ball by Posh. Now up the near side. Foster gets it back to Posh across to Walter, and he'll set it. Against Titus Christensen. High post pass to Ranky. Ranky looking. Erickson on him. Now the pass off to Posh. 
Hands it back to Walter. Four and a half minutes to play, first quarter. Walter, high post pass. They feed the baseline, and we have a foul called on the honors on Tim Erickson. Erickson's second personal, and that is team foul number three against the Otters. 8-6, the Otters have the lead. Andy Larson's going to check into the game, and he'll replace Tim Erickson, who has two personals. Last home game of the regular season for the Otters, and of course for these seniors. Inbounds pass, Walter, uh, that's... Uh, Wells, rather, missing the shot, and the Otters rebounded. Here comes Titus Christensen, working the left side, giving it to the baseline now. Dustin Cassette trying to drive baseline, and we've got a blocking foul at the baseline. And that foul on Scott Walter will be his first. It is team foul number two against Wapiton. Not, not ready for the substitution. The Otters throw it out near midcourt to Justin Arneson. Here's the top of the key jumper by Justin off the front of the rim, and the rebound goes out of bounds off the Otters. So Wapiton will get possession, and they make their first substitution. Steve Moline, a six-foot sophomore, comes in at a guard spot. Yancey Foster will put it in play. His pass goes to Jared Wells, and he gives it back to Foster. Yancey to midcourt. Moline has it against Titus Christensen. Moline setting the offense now, right side pass. Bosch to the free throw line. Wells driving against Joan Hart, puts the fade away in the air, off the glass, tipped out, grabbed by Watt, shot will drop, another offensive board off the bottom of the rim, and it's recovered by Wells. Now back out to Posh for three. That's off the iron. And the rebound picked up by Posh, who puts it up no good. Boy, the Huskies had four or five chances on offensive boards. Didn't get any of them down, and finally the Otters control it. Christensen accelerating baseline, trying to reverse it in traffic, draws the foul. And Titus will get two more free throws. And that foul is against Yancey Foster, his first. And the team fouls are even at three aside. Christensen has three points. He is one for two at the line. The Otters are on top by two. And now Titus will put it in the air, and it's good. Into the lineup, 6'2 sophomore Tim Peterson and 6'7 senior Eric Carlson for Wapiton. Peterson averages six a game, Carlson three off the bench. And now Titus looking for his fifth point. Puts it in the air, and it is good. Titus is hit three of four from the line. The Otters lead by three. It is 10-7. Up the left side, the pass to Steve Moline. Steps into the front court against Christensen. Now, passes offside. Lorraine knocked away by Arneson, but it went off the legs of Posh. Arne deflected the pass, and it hit Posh and went out of bounds. Wop with their second turnover. Arneson will walk it up the floor. Left side, Andy Larson. Looks to the baseline. Titus in deep, and he'll go up to the shot and draw the foul, and they're really working the baseline against the big guys, taking it right at him, and it's putting Titus on the line for the third time. And Steve Moline has his first foul. Titus is at three of four from the foul line. Another two-shot situation, and he hits it. Well, Titus may have missed his first shot, but he's made four in a row now. Second one coming now for Titus. It's on the way, and good. Titus has seven. He'll get a break. 3.09 to go, and now the Otters have Retroff replacing Titus Christensen, so they've got a, one of their taller lineups in there with both Schoenhardt and Retroff in, and then Andy Larson, too. Ball loose, and it's recovered by Wapiton's Tim Peterson. Gives it off to Moline. Three minutes left, first quarter. The Otters are up by six. Into the lane. The shot on the way is short, and the rebound picked up underneath and placed in off the rebound by Eric Carlson. Justin Retroff got his hands on it, couldn't grab it. 
so. It's 12-8 now. The Otters' six-point lead they had a moment ago is their largest so far of the night. They have not failed in this game, and the game has not been tied. Larson to Schoenhardt at the baseline. Charlie takes a dribble back out to Arnie. Well, left side to Justin Retroff. Free throw line penetration into the lane. Justin puts it up off the side of the rim. Wells has the defensive board, and he kicks it ahead to Dana Posh. Posh against Arneson across the floor. It goes. Moline has the ball. Now Moline on the sideline. Works it to the middle. Passes it off. It goes past Posh. Loose ball recovered by the Otters. Third turnover for Watt. Here's Arneson. And it knocked away from behind by Posh. And the Otters will put it in play on the offensive end. Jacob Drevlow is in. Titus Christensen is in. Schoenhart and Cassette will come out. And now Wap will substitute Ty Reiki back in for Dana Posh. So the Otters have Drevlow and Larson. Christensen and Arneson and Retzloff on the floor. Titus has the basketball against Steve Moline. Christensen takes it baseline again. He's blocked off at the baseline, and it will be team foul number five. Titus is going right at him along the baseline. That was not a shooting foul, though. It's on the drive, and Moline has his second personal. Team foul number five. The Otters will put it in play from underneath with under two minutes to go in the quarter. They lob it into Christensen near the free throw line. Titus takes it up in the paint again and lays it in. Well, Titus has nine first quarter points. And the full court pressure now. Moline takes the inbounds pass. 140 to go. 14 to 8. The Otters up by six. Up high. Pass taken by Scott Walter. Goes right side to Moline. Now Moline around the perimeter. Brings it left side to Walter. Drives in against Arneson. Picks up the dribble. Feeds to the corner. They drop it inside. Shot on the way. And it's good. Nice beat inside to Ty Ranke. And Ranke has four points now. Otters by four, minute 15 to go, first half. Arneson's feed, feed into Retzloff, and a turnaround bank shot is good. And Justin Retzloff has four. Coach Delvell wanted an offensive foul on that play, but did not get the call that he was looking for. Walter, right side, feeding it to the corner. Into the hands of Reinke. Back to the baseline with the shot on the way, no good. Rebounded off the rim by Arneson. Ahead to Drevlo. Jake up the wing and off the rim, no good. Tipped out of bounds off Wapiton. Boy, Jake Drevlo really had a nice move to the basket that time, but couldn't get it to fall. Arnie will get his first rest, and Cassette will come in. Yancey Foster replacing Tim Peterson for Wapiton. 50 seconds to play, first quarter. Otters by six. Ball knocked away by Titus Christensen. Now Titus into the corner, looking for Dustin Cassette, three-point area. Fourth turnover for Watt. They bring it right side. Retzloff up the lane, curls it no good. Offensive rebound. Uh, Justin puts it up left-handed and gets it in. Justin has six points. It is 18 to 10. Half a minute to go, first quarter. The Otters on top by eight. There's Moline at the top. Left side pass. Walter has it. Now Walter drives into the lane, pulls up, side of the lane, no good. Tipped underneath, grabbed by Wapiton as it's rebounded by Eric Carlson to the corner. The shot will drop, offensive rebound. Reiki up for the shot, no good. They tip it out front, and it is grabbed again by the Huskies. The time expires here in the first quarter. It is 18 to 10 on the Otterfield Telecom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. The Otters have the lead. We'll have our first. A complete line of school buses also available for charter service. Ottertail Mid Dakota coaches, 218-739-3393. Well, our first quarter wrap for Integrity Computer Systems. Titus Christensen scoring nine. Justin Retzloff six. And the Otters lead by eight at the end of the first quarter. The boards have been an interesting battle, but Wap has not shot the ball well, even though they have a number of offensive looks on the offensive rebounds. They have not shot the ball well through this first quarter. Off a missed shot by Wap, we have a turnover by the Otters as they try to move it into the front court. Third turnover now for the Otter Boys basketball team. We're just underway second quarter with an eight-point Otter lead. They have not trailed in this game. Bosch takes a pass from Foster. Now works it to Ranky at the free throw line. They're doing a double high post with Wells and Ranky, and now Ranky passes it off to Bosch. 
And they reset the offense. Posh will try to drive on Arneson. Takes it up the lane. Kicks it back out to Walter. Walter, free throw line jumper off the iron. Rebound Wells inside. Good. Tough to compete against 6-9 in a situation like that. And it's 18 to 12, a minute into the second quarter. Otters by six. Here's Erickson to Christensen. Left side of the lane. Titus takes it inside. Baseline feed doesn't drop. And it's rebounded now by Wap off that miss by Titus at the baseline. Picked off by Yancey Foster. Right side. Bosch tosses it off. Foster, left side to Ranky. Drops it down low to Wells. Wells up and in. Jared Wells with six. And he has three of their five field goals. Red Slop, baseline penetration against Wells. Misses the shot. Justin hits the floor along with the Reiki. They're both slow getting up. But in the meantime, Watt brings it right back down. Wells will kick it out. Walter will shoot the three. That's in and out. And off the rebound, it is knocked away and out of bounds. And it went off Justin Arneson. Luke Braxton is in. And with 6.16 to play in the first half, the Otters have a four-point lead now at 18-14 on the Otter Tail Telecom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. Wapiton with possession. Posh feeding it up high. Top of the key. Foster back to Walter on the near side. Returns it to Foster. Ball blocked by Cassette. Foster got it back and resets it to Walter. Guns it inside to Wells. Takes it up against Braxton. Goes up and hits it. Made a nice move to a fake loop to the inside and then put it in underneath. He has eight and six here in the second quarter. And Arneson hits a three. Walter played off in just a bit, and Arnie made him pay for it. 21-16 now. The Otters score their first points of the second quarter and open up a five-point lead again after Wap started with six straight here at the beginning of the second. Bosch on the wing, left side. To the top it goes to Yancey Foster. Cassette is watching him. He brings it left side now to Posh. Guns it up the sideline. Walter takes it baseline. Can't get around the defense. Dishes inside, and we're going to have a foul to basket point account. Boy, Dusty Cassette is uh, hurting, too. He committed the foul as he went up to try to block the shot. And Dusty has his first personal team foul, number four. Foster gets the basket and will try for the three-point play. 5-17 remaining in the first half. It is 21 to 18, Otters. We're going to take a break here, a 60-second timeout. We have an injury timeout. You're listening to Otter Boys Basketball. Ah. <sighs> That vacation, the car, the snowmobile. Dreams can come true with a loan from Otter Tail Power Employees Credit Union with rates as low as 6% APR on secured loans for a limited time. There are no loan fees, and the process is quick. You'll know in just a few hours. If you or someone related to you is an employee of Otter Tail Power Company or any of its subsidiaries, you may qualify. Contact Otter Tail Power Company Employees Credit Union, 137 South Mill, Fergus Falls, insured by NCUA. Get a breath of fresh air in your home with a Life Breath Air to Air Heat Exchanger. Let Ugstead Plumbing and Heating show you the Life Breath Heat Recovery Ventilator. It eliminates excess humidity and provides a flow of fresh outdoor air while capturing the heat you've already paid for. For more information, call Ottertail Power Company's Idea Center or Ugstead Plumbing and Heating on the Ottertail Lake Road in Fergus Falls. You'll breathe easier. Ugstead Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning. Total comfort for your home. At the other end has made it a four-point lead again at 23 to 19. The Otters on top by four. They have led by as many as eight. Shot is short. The offensive rebound, though, is not as Reiki gets it down. Wap is hurting the Otters on the boards, especially on the offensive end. But the Otters have benefited in that Wap has not been able to make all of their uh, offensive rebound attempts. Although they started to hit a couple here in the second quarter. Erickson pulls up, passes off. Arnie's got the open three look, and he hits it. Eight points for Arnie all in this quarter. That's all of the points the Otters have scored in this quarter. And it is Justin Arneson who is lighting it up. They're playing off him a little bit the last few times the Otters have had the ball. And it has hurt them. From the right side, the shot is good. Ty Ranky has eight points. He's been hot here as well. And the Otters lead by three with four minutes to go in the half. Erickson to Arneson. Off the pass. The three is good again. Arnie has hit three threes in the second quarter. He has 11 points 
in this quarter, all 11 of the Otters points. And they lead it now, 29-23. The feed inside, Wells is fouled. Oh no, it's a travel. It is a travel against Wells. And that's Wapiton's fifth turnover. And now the Huskies will bring Tim Peterson in. And out of the game, Yancey Foster. Well, Watt cut it to two, and then Arnie hit a couple of threes. It is now a six-point game. There was a Watt two in between those two threes, but Arnie is hot, and you can bet Scott Walter's not going to give him that open look again if he can help it. Arnie's got it at the top, swings it to Draxton on the left side. Now Luke takes a dribble, gives it off to Titus. Christensen driving left side of the lane, goes inside, trying to reverse it, dishes off as he was... Covered and Larson does the tied up for a jump ball. Well, we've got a lane violation called out front here. That is a lane violation against the Otters. It is a fourth turnover for Fergus Falls. So with 3.20 to go in the first half, Wap gets the ball down by six. And Posh dribbles it off his foot, picks it up, throws it right side, and throws it away. So the Otters get possession and again, good defense out front. Well, the Otter guards have really done a, a good job pressuring the ball out front. That led directly to a turnover that time. Jim Erickson will step into the front court and set it up against Posh. Left side to the corner. Arnie's got the open three. Look, and he hits it again. Oh, my. 14 points in this quarter for Arneson. That's every point the Otters have scored in this quarter. And they are now up by nine for the first time tonight. 32 to 23. For the top of the key. Ty Reinke brings it left side. And up the top, Walter dropping it inside to Wells. Kicks it out, three-point range shot. Good from the corner. Tim Peterson has the first three of the game for Watt. Christensen looks back to Arneson over to Erickson. He's got the open three. Look, it's good. Erickson has a pair of threes. Five threes in the quarter for the Otters. And Arnie seals the inbound pass. Arnie in the corner, passing it off to Erickson. And we've got a foul called in the corner, which will be the sixth team foul against Wap, the first personal on Reinke. Arnie with his quickness anticipating that inbound pass, coming up with a seal and setting up another offensive opportunity. And the Otters have a 35-26 lead on the Otter Kill Telecom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. There shouldn't be shots here, I don't believe. No bonus. So the ball will belong to the Otters. They throw it in from underneath. Titus Christensen will pass the ball in from under the basket. He gets it to Arnie, off the pass. The shot is good, another three. Justin Arneson, five threes in the quarter. What an incredible shooting display by the senior guard. And there's a steal by Erickson. Erickson, a pass to Christensen, getting it to Arneson. We've got a foul. And Christensen's going to go to the free throw line for the one and one. And Delvell wants a timeout. What a great quarter of basketball, a shooting exhibition, the likes of which you haven't seen too often in high school basketball. Justin Arneson has hit five threes and has 17 points. Honor Tail Power Company. Well, incredible second quarter shooting display by Justin Arneson, who has nailed five threes and a two. He has 17 points in this quarter. Tim Erickson has the other field goal for the Otters, a three. Titus Christensen has just hit the front end of the one and one. Titus had a nine point quarter in the first, so he has 10. But what a shooting performance by Arnie. It's 39-26. And now Titus will try to convert another one, and he does. So after missing his first attempt of the night, Titus has hit seven consecutive free throws. And the Otters lead by 14. Under two minutes to play in the half. Double teaming the ball up high. Now Posh has an open alley. He drives to the hoop and is followed by Christensen. There's no basket. He did not get the shot off before the foul. Titus has his first personal foul. That's team foul number five. No shots yet. 
Well, bonus, 147 left in the half. The Otters by 14, the inbound pass, Ranky misses, offensive board, Wells has it knocked away, retrieved in the corner by Watt, they get it back into Wells, puts it up and in. Jared Wells has eight of his 10 points here in the second quarter, and it's 40 to 28. Justin Arneson with the basketball. Left side, Andy Larson has it. Goes to the corner, Draxton. Back out to the top to Christensen. Titus working against Dana Posh. Goes baseline with it, feeds it back to Arne. He's got the open three, it's off the rim. That's his first miss, I believe, of this quarter. I think he hit five in a row and five of six from three-point range in that stretch, and that one almost went in. 1.05 to go. Nice steal by Justin Retzloff inside. He timed that pass beautifully. Now the pass through the hands of Draxton. He saves it. However, it's picked up by Wapiton, and the Otters have their fifth turnover of the game. Back the other way, Walter driving inside, dishes off. Posh takes it up into the lane. Retzloff steals again. And Wapiton turnovers. Up the floor. Braxton has it knocked away. The Otters will keep possession with 41 seconds to go in the first half. Into the ball game, Yancey Foster, and Foster will replace Tim Peterson. Braxton to throw it in from across the way. Into the backcourt it goes to Arnie. He's guarded by Walter. Moeen on the bench with three fouls. He came off the bench replacing Walter, but picked up three fouls to get into some foul trouble here. Otters have Tim Erickson with two fouls, and Tim is sitting out right now. They don't want him to pick up number three before the half ends. The Otters are going to take it down for the last shot here. They lead by 12. Arnie has it out near midcourt. Left side to Titus. Christensen passing it off to Andy Larson. Larson passes down to Retzloff. Now back out to Christensen. They're trying to get it to Arnie. Five seconds. Now Titus is going to have to do something with it. Takes it baseline. Shot blocked out of bounds. Two seconds left. Two seconds left here. They'll get it into Arnie in the corner and let him shoot a three, I think, if I'm reading the play right here. He's breaking to the corner, but he's not going to get open. They look for the second option. Retzloff is there for two points out of the basket at the buzzer. Great job by the Otters. What a second quarter for Justin Arneson. And the Otters score 24 second quarter points. They lead at 42-28 on the Otter Tail Telecom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. And our first half wrap is coming up. on top by 19, 47-28 on the Otter Trail Telecom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. Log on to www.craigolsonsports.com and try your luck at our Sports Trivia Challenge. $20 a week given away. 
trying to break Kenny Anderson's streak for three weeks in a row. So come on, you trivia experts. Log on and give it your best shot at www.craigolsonsports.com. Mary Dolan just put a new story up, too, on the special of the day. So check that out as well. Underneath, side of the lane. They kick it inside, and it's stolen away by Arneson. Here comes Arne dribbling up the right side. Penetrates to the baseline. Goes all the way to the hoop. Missed the shot. Let's drop the base shot on the rebound. It's good. Let's go for the dozen. And the honor is now by 21, and the pass is thrown away. And good pressure by Cassette on the near side. And that's 12 turnovers now for the Huskies. Gussie will throw it into Tim Erickson. Under six minutes to play in the half. It's a 21-point lead for the Otters. The set left side three-point area, high post pass, Retzloff. Now to Arneson. Arneson will shoot left side off the rim. And the defensive board goes to Wapiton. Yancey Foster getting that weak side rebound. Scott Walter passes high post. Ranky's pass for Wells, stolen by Retzloff. Justin's got about three steals tonight. Now to set up the near side to Erickson. To the baseline, Christensen turns a step in front of the three-point line off the rim. And a good look, but it's rebounded by Ranky. 5.15 to go. Wap has not scored yet in the third quarter. The Otters have all seven third-quarter points. Here's Wells, side of the lane against Retzloff. Fights his way up for the shot and hits it. A dozen for Wells. First basket for Wapiton. It is 49-30. Hillcrest is playing Rotse tonight at FFCC. Here's Titus from the corner. That's off the heel. Ranky gets the rebound. And here comes Watt broken up by Arneson out of bounds. 4.50 remaining in the third. It is 49-30. Otters by 19. Their biggest lead has been 21. Nancy Foster will pass the ball in. Out near midcourt in the hands of Scott Walter. Walter penetrating the lane, slips as he brought it into the lane and was able to keep the dribble going. Now they send it back up to the top of the key. Walter looks up the right side of the lane, kicks it instead out on the wing. Pass inside, broken up by the outer defense, but it bounces right underneath into the hands of Yancey Foster, and Foster scoops it up and lays it in. So an easy basket, good ricochet that time for the Huskies. It's a 17-point outer lead. Penetration, baseline, shot won't fall. Rebound goes to Wapiton as it's kicked off inside by Tim Peterson. Walter up the middle of the floor and the bounce pass. Well, he, the anticipation was that Posh was going to break on the wing. He instead broke out and the bounce pass went to where he would have been had he broken up the wing and that goes out of bounds, untouched. So the Otters get possession of the basketball. Leading by 17 with four minutes to play, third quarter. Andy Larson, or Arneson now back to Christensen into the lane, now to Retzloff, turnaround shot, doesn't fall for Justin. Picked off the board by Dana Posh. Right side to Walter, drops it down low to Wells on Retzloff. Wells shuffles the pass inside, good block by Cassette and a foul on Dusty. Second personal on Dusty Cassette. And Wap will send Yancey Foster to the line to shoot two. Foster has five points. He is one for one on the line. Foster averages 12 points a game. Andy Larson and Luke Jackson will come in now. Free throw is no good. Cassette leaves. Retzloff leaves. And with 3.47 to go in the third, Otters lead by 17. Foster's second attempt is good, so he makes one of two. He has six points, and it's a 16-point lead. Wap has scored five straight. Here's Arneson, left-hand corner. Looking back to Erickson, beyond the three-point arc, kicks it down low. Jackson fights his way up for the shot, and we've got a foul call that's going to put Luke on the line for two. Yancey Foster's second personal. And Luke Jackson, who's played some good minutes off the bench for the Otters in the recent weeks, is at the free throw line now. Luke, 6'4", junior. Had a four-point night off the bench against Alexandria on Saturday. And a six-point night against the Spuds on Friday. Misses a free throw. 
percentage of it, seven of nine from the line. Draxton is the first player other than Christensen to shoot a free throw tonight for the Otters, and he makes one of the two. So Luke has his first point. Up the right side, Wells picks up the dribble just in time. Titus was about to steal it from behind on a double team, but he stopped the dribble. There's a steal by the Otters, knocked away by Erickson. 15 Wapiton turnovers. Up the right side, Draxton back out to Arneson. Cuts to the free throw line, spins, puts a jumper in the air, hits it. Arnie with 19 now. And the Otters are on top by 19. 52-33 on the Otter Trail Telecom. Cellular 2000 scoreboard, and we have three minutes to play in the quarter. Third quarter action. Scott Walter, free throw line pass, drops it down low. And the block shot by Draxton and a foul on Luke going up for the rebound. Or was it on the shot? Must have been on the shot. Luke Draxton gets his uh, first foul. And at the free throw line is Jared Wells. 12 points for Jared Wells. He has not taken a shot from the free throw line yet tonight, and he hits his first attempt. Jared Wells with 13. Honors have outscored what 10-6 here in the third quarter. And it's 52-34. The second free throw coming for Jared Wells, and it's off the rim no good, and Draxton gets the board. In the hands of Tim Erickson, up the right side to Luke Draxton on the wing. Back out to Erickson. Penetrating on the wing. Ball knocked away. Tim continues the dribble, and now here's Andy Larson shooting over the basket. And the weak side rebound belongs to Yancey Foster. There's Scott Walters setting up the offense with two and a half minutes to play in the third. Pass out now into the lane, and the shot is blocked, and we also have a foul called. So Wap will go to the line. It'll be Yancey Foster, who has six points, and has hit two of three from the line, and he will shoot two. Wap is seven for nine from the line as Foster has a ball in his hands for the first of two free throws. And it is off the rim, no good. Two minutes and 24 seconds to go. The Huskies have not shot the ball well tonight from the floor. They've shot all right from the line, but are a little more cold in the second half, or second half from the line than they were in the first half. Foster hits the second one. Seven points for Yancey Foster. Here's Larson up the middle of the floor to Arneson. Back out to Tim Erickson, three-point area. Barney working the, or Erickson working the dribble and the bounce pass to Christensen. Now Draxton up high, takes it out near midcourt, feeds Arneson. Two minutes to go. Barney keeps the dribble going, off to Erickson, across to Christensen, the open three short. Follows, gets his own rebound, in traffic, ball knocked away, Erickson gathers it in. Now back to Titus, left-hand corner. Inside, Arnie posting low, hits the turnaround shot. 21 for Justin Arneson. And the Otters lead by 19. It is 54-45 on the Otter Trail Telecom. Cellular 2000 scoreboard. 140 to go. Third quarter. Steve Moline, left side to the corner. Shot on the way off the side of the rim. Wells battling Braxton out of bounds. Off Wells. Otters get the ball. Braxton comes out. Arneson is in. Uh, uh, Justin Lipoff is in. Arneson comes out. Fidette is in. Minute and a half remaining here in the third. Otters by 19, and they have the ball. Larson gives to Christensen, who is triple teamed in the backcourt. Erickson, now Cassette, side of the lane. Dusty to the baseline, and good. Good job by Dusty Cassette, his first two. And the Otters have equaled their largest lead. They are up by 21. High post pass into the lane. The shot by Peterson doesn't fall. Ripstock gets the defensive board. Now here comes Erickson, kicks it right side to the corner, Christensen back out. Under a minute to play now, Larson giving it off to Christensen, swings it right side to Cassette. And now here's Erickson, bringing it left side to Titus. Titus to the top to Larson, over to Cassette. Otters trying to take it down for the last shot. If they get a layup, they'll shoot, otherwise they're going to hold it. There's Larson. Larson drives inside, pitches it out to the corner. Retzloff, now Cassette. 
Dusty penetrating. Here's Retzloff in the corner. Back out through the legs of Erickson, and the Otters will turn it over on the over and back ball. As the pass was real. A tough one to handle. It's only the second turnover of the half and the seventh of the night for the Otters. And with 26 seconds to go in the third quarter, the Otters lead by 21 as Wapiton brings the ball in at midcourt. And the pass will be taken on the far side by Dana Posh. Posh trying to return the ball to Moline, but Cassette was denying him access to the ball with some pressure defense. Posh out near midcourt against Titus. 12 on the clock. Now Posh will bounce pass it off to Moline. Free throw line. Moline against Cassette to the corner. The shot from the side won't drop, and the rebound is picked up by Larson as time runs out. In this third quarter, and it is all Otters here tonight. 56 35 on the Otter Field Telcom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. We'll return with our third quarter wrap and our. Making the Buick Century the value of the century. Check it out today at the Minnesota Motor Company on South Pebble Lake Road, Fergus Hall. Well, the Otters will start the fourth quarter with a penetrating baseline layup by Andy Larson, his first points of the game. And the Otters lead by 23, 58-35 on the Otterfield Feltown Cellular 2000 scoreboard. Third quarter wrap for Integrity Computer Systems. The Otters double the Huskies 14-7, some tight defensive pressure. They held Watt to only two field goals in the third quarter. And the Otters had five different players score. In that third quarter, and Justin, Justin Retzloff with uh, 12 points, hitting the four points in that third quarter. Now Gary Schuler wants a, a timeout. We'll break for 30 here. Take a 30-second timeout. It's the Otters 58, the Huskies 35. It's IRA season again, and now you have more types of IRAs and more options for investing your IRA money than ever before. This means you could keep more for yourself and give less to the IRS. Call or visit Steve Swanson, your invest representative located at Community First here in Fergus Falls. Invest Financial Corporation member NASD and SIPC is a registered broker-dealer and is not affiliated with the depository institution. Securities and insurance products offered through Invest and its insurance agencies are not FDIC-insured, may lose value, and have no bank guarantee. Back to the action after that timeout, and the ball stolen away by Tim Erickson. Across the floor, Arnie driving in, hits the shot, he draws the foul, and Justin Arneson will have a shot at a three-point play. Great control by Arnie as he went up for the shot and was hammered, and he still got the, the shot off, and Dana Posh has his first foul, and Arnie now with 23 points, going for 24. Boy, what a run he has been on. 23 against Alexandria, or against the Moorhead, rather, on Friday. 27 against Alexandria on Saturday. And with this free throw, 24 so far tonight, and we have 7.18 to go. And the Otters are up 61-35. Now the pass to Posh into the front court. Posh on the far side. Into the lane it goes. Nice lead pass, and Wells is fouled by Erickson inside, and he'll shoot two. Tim Erickson picks up his third personal foul. And that is team foul number three against the Otters of the second half. And the free throw is up and good. So Jared Wells now with 14 points. Is it two out of three from the line? Wap is nine for 12 on the line tonight, and the second one is good. Wells having a nice night with 15 points, couple above his average. Otters quickly up the left side. Larson up with a shot off the heel, boarded by Jared Wells. One minute gone in the fourth quarter. The Otters on top by 24. The ball knocked away by Cassette, but recovered by Moline. Into the corner it goes. Here's Posh from three-point range, driving on Arneson. Goes up for the shot and hits it. Dana Posh with his first field goal. He has four points on the night. Retzloff fluffs the three, takes it into the lane, and goes up for the shot. Stripped of the ball. Cassette is there in traffic. Shot block, gets it back, and will take it back out top. Now Cassette with six and a half minutes to go. Gives it off to Erickson. Swings it left side. Larson goes down to the baseline. 
Here's Ritzlap, rejected by Wells, recovered by Larson in the right corner. And he kicks it back out to Cassette. Now Dusty goes all the way across to Arnie. He loads the three as all day, and he misses off the side of the rim. And the board belongs to Yancey Foster. Six minutes remaining in this game. The Otters in control by 22 points. Three-point area. Posh penetrating the lane. Now he's got some contact. Got a foul coming on Justin Arneson. Arnie's first of the night. It's the fourth, fourth team foul. That team fouls at four. And the Huskies will throw it in from underneath. 551 remaining here in the second half. I've got the outer team fouls at four. They've got them on six, six on the board. So all knocked away and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wap, and that is turnover number 17. Now Arnie will throw the ball up the floor to Cassette. Right side works it out. Top of the key, pass knocked away and out of bounds. And the ball will be thrown in from in front of the bench now by Dusty Cassette. 5.44 to go. Cassette to Charlie Schoenhart. Back to Cassette into the corner to Arnie. Guns it inside for Schoenhart. It's broken up by Wells. Goes out of bounds. Arneson will pass it in from underneath. And the lot pass out to Erickson. Shuffles it off to Christensen. 18 footer. Good by Titus. 16 for Titus Christensen. And the Otters have opened up that 24-point lead again at 63-39 on the Otter Tail Telecom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. Steal by Christensen. Here come the Otters. Arneson, left hand, continuation again. Yep, the basket counts. And he is fouled and a chance for a three-point play. Once again for Arnie as Dana Posh commits his second personal foul. Arnie with 26. Looking for number 27 as he steps to the line. 65-39 is the score. Cassette comes out. Braxton is in. Larson will be replacing Arneson. So Arnie looking for his 27th point of the night, and it's good. But the amazing thing about Arnie's 27 tonight, or one of the amazing things, we didn't have any after the first quarter. He has scored 27 points in two quarters and two minutes. 66-39, the Otters' biggest lead of the night is a 27-point spread. Blanky passes out front, Christensen steals. On the break, his pass for Larson broken up by Watt and out of bounds. Otters will throw it in from underneath. And Nick Pickett, 5'9", Jr., is coming in. And we're also going to see Travis Moreau, the 5'9", Jr., and the Otto Seniors, I think, are done for the night. The exception of uh, Andy Larson and Charlie Schoenhardt and Jacob Drevlo. I think the starters are coming out one by one here into the baseline. Larson's shot kind of slipped out of his hands, and it's, uh, it's uh, recovered by Wap with under five minutes to go. Penetration, Walter, baseline, inside, missed it. Ball tipped, Schoenhardt grabs it. Schoenhardt, couple of dribbles, brings it up the left side. Into the front court, Nick Pickett. Pickett's side of the lane. Now knocked away, Nick trying to get it back. Walter steals. Walter breaking in, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Walter. Turnovers are 20 for Watt, 8 for the Otters. Four minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the ball game, and the Otters on top, 66-39. Larson on the wing, behind the back on the dribble, spins away from pressure. We've got a foul out front, and that's coming on Scott Walter. His second team foul is number four. Four thirty-two to play. Schoenhart will put it in play from underneath. And the pass goes into the corner, knocked away from Travis Moreau and out of bounds. Otters again will put it in play. Travis 
We'll pass it in. Draxton takes it in traffic. Ball comes loose. Now Luke is trapped inside, and finally the ball stolen away. So the Huskies come up with the steal. Left side penetration, Walter. Back to the corner. The shot by Ranky off the rim, and there's Pickett getting the rebound. Lead pass, Maroa behind the defense. Shuffles it back out, and here's Draxton having trouble with it. He's got a travel on the honor. for the office. Maria a little too unselfish that time. Travis should have, uh, Travis should have just finished that shot. Free throw line. Shot on the way by Wells is good. So Jared Wells now has 17. And the Otters lead 66 to 41. Here's Pickett working the dribble. Pick it back to the top to Andy Larson. Now Larson brings it to Morrell. The left side, pick it. They got it inside of the lane. Here's Sean Hart, followed by Wells. Wells will pick up his second personal foul. And Charlie Sean Hart will go to the free throw line. Charlie, the 6'3 senior, going to the line with a couple of free throw opportunities. Jacob Drebel is going to come in. We're also going to see Matt Haas in the lineup. 3.36 to go. Here's the shot by Charlie, and it's good. So Schoenhardt has his first point. He'll shoot another. And we have a timeout. Well, maybe not. Not very good at a timeout here. Coach Schuler and Coach Pearson are talking about it. You get a lot of new players out there, you want to take uh, time and just uh, talk things over about what you want to accomplish. Settle everybody down a little bit. Schoenhardt hits both free throws. And it's 68-41. The lead is 27. Three-point area. They drop it inside. We've got a foul on the back. Schoenhardt will get the foul. I think that's only the fifth team foul, though. They've got seven on the board. I don't think that's right. So Schoenhardt has the foul. Okay, at the free throw line, here's the shot. And it's short, no good. I guess I'm off somewhere in the book here. Now the Otters with the basketball. 68-41, 3.15 to play. Otters have led by uh, 27 on a couple different occasions, and now Schoenhardt misses. It's rebounded by Drevlo. He has it rejected. He's fouled by Wells. Jared Wells has his third, and now uh, Drevlo will go to the line to shoot two. Well, if Jacob can uh, convert a free throw here, then every senior in the lineup tonight will have scored at least one point. Well, here's Drevlo with his first of two, and the free throw is off the heel. No good. Honors have hit 12 free throws out of 15 attempts tonight. They've really shot free throws well this year. And really well since Friday night, the last three games. They hit 29 of 39 on the weekend. So 41 of 54. 42 of 55, Jacob scores. His first point, and every senior on the roster has at least one point here in this final game of the regular season at home. Under three minutes left, the Otters lead by 28. It is 69-41 on the Otter Trail Cellcom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. The three is off. Rebounded by Wap, and they throw it away. Hillcrest was leading after one quarter, 20-5 over Watsey. Ashby was leading Underwood 19-13 after one quarter of play. Those two games on the radio tonight, too. The press Rossi on Oldies 1020. Ashby Underwood on KJ Country. Nobody saw who it went off, so... Now they uh, give it to the Otters. Moreau will throw it in from the near side. 2.36 left. And the inbounds pass taken by Pickett. Enters it down low. Drevlo into the lane. Stripped of the ball. Recovered by Moreau. A 
across the floor, Matt Haas. The open three, and Haas misses off the rim. Rebound tipped out and grabbed at the free throw line by Eric Carlson, 6'7", senior, for Wapiton. They get it into the corner. Pass to Matt Diedrich. Now baseline turnaround, no good by Carlson. Rebounded by the Otters as Schoenhardt gets it. Here comes Pickett into the front court. To the corner, the roll. Takes the baseline, lets it fly off the rim. And it's rebounded now by Wap, and we have a foul called on the Huskies. It's going to be a clearing out foul on Moline on the rebound. And that's going to be his fourth. And the Otters have emptied the bench now. They're bringing in their sophomore players, Matt Johnson, number 25. Nate Klein, number 43, and Ryan Hendrickson, number 45. And that's a, uh, well, no shots here, so. Going to six foul against Wap. Pass goes into the corner, Johnson to Hendrickson. Plus, it comes. Now they enter it down low to Hendrickson, double team and a foul called, and Ryan Hendrickson will go to the free throw line. And that foul on Tim Peterson is his first. So Ryan has a chance to get in the varsity book here. Ryan had 11 points in the B game earlier tonight, as did Josh Cassette. Adam Heck had 10, and Nate Klein at 15. They had four players in double digits as they won for the 15th time this season, winning 61 to 49. Hendrickson misses the first shot from the line. 151 left. <laughs> The Otters lead by 28. And here's the uh, second free throw by Ryan Hendrickson, and it's good. So Hendy's got a point. And the Otters are up by 29. 70 to 41 on the Otter Trail Telecom. Cellular 2000 scoreboard. Watt plays at Valley City next Thursday. And then they enter tournament play. Layup is good to follow on Hendrickson. Uh, Ryan's first and a three-point play opportunity coming for Wapiton's Eric Carlson, who has four points on the night. An EDC region tournament is Thursday. Starts Thursday. It goes through uh, Saturday of next week. Free throw good. So Carlson converts the three-point play. Eric Carlson with five. Moreau comes out. Haas is in. 140 remaining. 70 to 44, the Otters on top by 26. Fine, delivers the pass out high to Johnson. Out of the top of the key, they swing it right side and Klein's shot is blocked, he gets it back, puts it in the air from 15 short, and a nice rebound by Tim Peterson. 1.15 to go. Otters in control here, they have led by as many as 29, they have never trailed in this game. Side of the lane, nice feed inside, and a rejection by Matt Johnson underneath. And Travis Moreau will come in, Nick Pickett will come out. 1.06 remaining. And the inbound pass, far side to Steve Moline. Side of the lane, fighting up for the shot and drawing the foul was Tim Peterson, and Peterson will shoot two with 1.01 to go. And the other foul calls against Nate Klein, his first. Peterson with three points. He had a three-point field goal in the second quarter. And the free throw is good. Second quarter is when the Otters really took control of this game. They outscored, what, 24-18, but that's the quarter where Justin Arneson lit it up with five threes and had 17 points in that quarter. Second one is missed. The ball goes out of bounds off Wap. Otters get it with under a minute to play. It is 70 to 45. Otters lead it on the Otter Tail Telecom. Cellular 2000 scoreboard. And Wap is going to be 14 and 4 on the year. Going to travel on Matt Johnson as he picks up the dribble. And uh, kind of get caught up with the ball and slid with it. Here come the Huskies. Down by 25 with 45 seconds to go. Free throw line, they keep the dribble going. Now the pass off on the wing. Owen Bartnick with it. Goes across to Matt Diedrich. He drives to the free throw line. Tips pass. Bartnick recovers. 
They drop it inside, and Hendrickson steps in front of the pass. Turnover number 22 for the Huskies. Here's Ryan Hendrickson getting the feed in the lane. We've got to travel on the Otters, and that's their 12th turnover. Otters have really taken good care of the ball tonight. 25 seconds left. Wait a minute now. One, one official called the travel, the other called the foul. I don't know. Now they're going to the travel. Now walk back the other way to the corner. They set it to Diedrich. Now kick it into the lane, and the penetrating layup by Nolan Bartnick is good. 70 to 47. 10 seconds left. Matt Haas. Right side. Drives in. Pull up jumper blocks, and the rebound controlled by Wapperton. Here's Carlson, stepping in ahead, the three by Peterson at the buzzer is no good, and the honors get away with an impressive 70-47 to 47 victory tonight over the Wapiton Huskies in their final regular season home game, and the final game on this floor for these seniors, aside from a, a playoff game, and they will host a playoff game at uh, some point in this postseason. What an impressive win here for uh, the Otter Varsity tonight with a 70 to 47 victory over the Wapiton Huskies. And we'll return with our fourth quarter wrap and our game summary for Integrity Computer Systems, a system you can trust. Stay with us. We'll return in three minutes.